guys, it's me, Sean, with Citation Gurus, and today I kind of wanted to go through and show you how to use the Divi Page Builder. Uh, this is a page that I had pre-set up to show you guys before we get started, and this is just kind of some of the stuff that the Page Builder does. It's all drag and drop, reorganized, and it puts this nice slider where this slides in from the bottom, this slides in from the side, and this piece right here can actually be a video as well. It doesn't have to be an image. So you can have a video in this little section and text next to it. And the slider is actually pretty nice, pretty advanced. Then you have these images that appear and have a slide effect. Uh, you have these little boxes that you can put in. Uh, you have these little animated percentages and graphs that you can put in, uh, toggles, uh, the blog section, text section, call to action, shopping cart, and there's a few more as well that I'm going to be showing you as I build out another page. I just set this one up to show you guys kind of what it looks like and kind of how it works. This bottom part right here is the shopping cart, which would be the shop in the drag and drop. But let's head over to the back end right here. We're going to go to pages and add a new page once that loads up. And let's go ahead and just add new page. We'll just go ahead and call it home too. That way I can just kind of show you guys everything and have that page. And then we're going to use this right here where it says use page builder. Because this is just the basic page layout. But once we hit use page builder, then we get these sections. Uh, you can add as many sections as you want. When you add a section, it adds underneath. Otherwise, you just add rows, and it will add rows underneath. And then we have the insert columns. Here is the really amazing part with Divi. You're going to be able to choose what type of layout you want. You see there's a full width, a one-half, one-half, one-third, one-third, one-third. One third, two thirds, two thirds, one thirds, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and a few others down here. And you're going to be able to choose one of these for each of the column widths that you put in. So it's really quite advanced and it really helps make it so that you can lay out the page exactly as you want it. You're not limited to the way some of the other templates are. So for the slider, let's go ahead and go with a full width for the whole page and then you'll see after you do that then it's going to say insert modules so if it ever says that and you want to change the layout and you haven't put anything in yet then you can just go ahead and oh, you can just X off or remove it and you can go ahead and add these in again and then the add section We'll add the section down below. So let's go ahead and add a slider. And this is literally how simple it is for the drag and drop. There's image, text, blurb, testimonial, slider, tabs, pricing table, call to action, subscribe. The subscribe works with MailChimp, so you have to have an API in order to have this pull in your MailChimp lists and automatically be able to put the subscribe in and it will put a little button wherever you put it where people can put their email in and subscribe through the website. There's also a portfolio which you can see right here by the demo. It's a gallery. It creates a gallery. Animated counters. This is that animated effect you saw on the home page. The animated percentage scales. The toggle, this is going to be, it's going to have a plus and a minus button, and it's going to drop down the text and pull the text back up. Uh, I did have some toggles on there. I did not toggle them down, but I will show you that. The contact form, which creates a simple contact form. The sidebar, which creates a left sidebar, right sidebar.